your children, your extended family, your loved ones should not be your retirement plans. You should have actual plans, savings, investment laid out, ready to take care of you by the time you are ready to stop working. Retirement is not an age anymore in this day and time. It is this point in time when you are ready to stop working and start living off all of the hard work that you have done during your youth. In this video, I'm going to be showing you what retirement is and why it is important to plan towards retirement and different ways you can decide to go about planning for retirement. Hi, are you joining me for the first time? My name is your personal finance gear and I want to say thank you for watching this video and if you watch till the end, I'm going to be showing you different methods that you can use to plan towards your retirement. Yes, please don't forget to like, subscribe and also share this video with friends. If you find it informative, please leave a comment also so I can know to make more videos like this for you. I don't want to call anybody. I don't think I want to call anybody and I do not want you to call anybody. Or do you want to call your children the same way they are calling you? Like, do you want to have to actively always ask for allowance when you could have as well just planned? I'd like to first of all thank Our Bar Nigeria for sponsoring this video. Our Bar Nigeria is a pension tech startup that is into micro pensioning, which means that they basically provide pension to the informal sector and they are doing this so that everybody becomes pensioned. You, what is retirement? Retirement, I used to think retirement was an age until i made research and i found out that okay retirement is about you being ready to stop working so if you decide that today you won't stop working and you won't live up what you've saved for as long as you've been working you are officially retired however many people do not plan towards retirement because they're like ah it's still 20 years from now it's still 30 years from now so if you are in your 20s your 30s your 40s this is the right time to plan towards retirement because you're not going to get any younger and the sooner you start the better for you so retirement is no longer 65 60 55 retirement is when you're able to live off all that you have saved all that you've earned all that you've kept for the time where you can no longer work or the time where you decide not to work so in this video we're going to be looking at how to actively plan towards retirement when you want to plan towards retirement you need to ask yourself some questions before you even start planning so that would sort of guide you what type of life do you want to live at retirement do you want to live in just one place and just continue a routine from time to time would you like to travel um, um, continuously or would you like to just travel once in a while would you like to move out of where you currently are when you are retiring do you want to get yourself a dream house like what exactly is your dream for retiring this is actually going to help you to plan actively towards retirement because when I know that okay I want to just live comfortably I just want to have a house and I want to always have food, I want to have the basic amenities I need, you know that, okay, currently, I spend this amount of money to keep myself going, to go to work, and to be comfortable. By the time I want to retire, then I should have this particular amount of money. So let me use um, figures. So let's say currently you spend 50000 naira on everything that you need to survive your basic amenities by retiring your expenses are going to drop a bit because you're not going to be doing everything that you currently do your let's let's say for an, for example your transportation is going to reduce so let's say you spend you're going to be needing thirty thousand naira every month to survive at retirement you need to now start thinking okay how many years is it going to take me from now to retirement so you can then look at okay the particular amount of money you need to save towards retirement so if you're in your 20s and you want to retire in your 60s it means you have 40 years to plan towards retirement while if you're in your 50s you have just 15 years to plan towards retirement or 10 years to plan towards retirement so you need to have 
a plan like a dream then you have to now put things into place to make those dreams come into realization so basically um there's a retirement there are different retirement calculators online that could help you determine how much you need to retire so you could use a retirement calculator to calculate okay i need to have this amount of money saved up towards retirement or for retirement and then split the bills into the number of years into the number of active um months you're working and that makes it way easier for you to plan instead of waiting till when you are probably in your late 40s or late 60s before planning to retirement now that you have this information that you are young i think it's really really nice if you use it so it is very important to have a plan towards retirement and how do you get to plan towards retirement by one taking stock of what you currently have what kind of job do you do what do you earn if you have a retirement calculator like the one i just recommended okay so i'm going to keep in, um the link to a retirement calculator in the description box so you can actually just click on the link to make use of the retirement calculator so you can tell how much you need to um save towards retirement or you could actually just put in the amount that you want to have at retirement and then it shows you how many years or how much you need to save yeah so just click on the link to make use of the retirement calculator to have that figure one of the benefits of starting to um save towards retirement early is because when you have a longer span of time right it gives you um an added advantage of compounding interest and retirement savings usually have a higher interest rate compared to the normal savings account so let me give an instance with using a dollar let's say you save 400 dollars per month and you want to retire at the age of 65 and you have eight percent annual returns um if you start at age 20 you're going to have 1.85 million dollars from just saving 400 dollars per month well if you start at age 50 saving the same amount with the same interest rate you're going to have 130 thousand dollars like the difference is always much if you started at age 30 you're going to have 227 thousand that's like 200 thousand dollars difference from just 10 years and then you started at 40 you're going to have 350 thousand dollars like the distance between the between age 20 and age 50 is so much and what actually helped was just the time so using a naira example if you say 450 naira every day for 25 years what you're going to get at the end of 25 years if you save in a regular saving account uh, that gives around one percent interest is just 4.5 million naira and that is actually really little but let's compare it to when you save in when you save in a pension account you have gives around 10 percent interest per annum you have 17 million 17.1 million guys the difference between 4 million and 17 million what's going on here for 25 years the same period of time but you get higher interest rate so basically this is actually the importance of starting your retirement early you get to give yourself options and those dreams that you already thought about become valid they become real if you decide that you want to travel around the world you already actively plan towards achieving that and one thing that i've noticed over time is that pension is always looked at for mostly those that have the regular nine to five those that their employers have a contract with other um, pension firms that come over okay once you get employed they, they sign up with the pension firm and they also add to your pension savings but many a times those that are in the informal sector do not have this luxury so it's very important for you now as a business person as an entrepreneur as someone in the informal sector you're an artisan you do other jobs that are not the regular that are not in the formal sector for you to it is now important for you to take this information that you currently have and work towards it so companies like our bar they actually 
fend for the informal sector so they help so they help you to save towards retirement actively so you can actually sign up with them and contribute you do the contributions it could be daily could be monthly towards your retirement you already have a figure in mind because you are not in the formal sector does not mean that you will not save towards retirement so now that you know it is very important for you to save actively towards retirement even though you are already in the formal sector it is not just enough for you to work with what you have in the formal sector right so how it works is that you can decide that okay i'm going to be earning from different places when i retire there's nothing wrong if you have multiple sources of income even though you are retired you could have various passive income and one of them is you having pen your pension um income coming so you could actually be in the formal sector and decide that okay for your side hustle for your business you want to actively save towards retirement through those venues also so that you have like different ways money are coming in and yes you definitely would not only um depend on your pension to um, take care of you when you retire you could also have active investments that would bring in dividend rec returns or could bring in capital gain returns and this could also add up to what you have saved up for retirement it's not just enough for you to plan towards retirement you also need to contribute actively it is very important for you to contribute actively you see the way that the formal sector have their contributions removed like every month when they receive their salary if you end up using the micro pension scheme it is very important for you to also be consistent make sure that you are contributing regularly towards your retirement you like i said in the beginning you don't want to end up calling loved ones family and friends every single time when you could have as well just planned towards retirement so make sure that you contribute as frequently as possible towards your retirement you could decide to do it daily like i mentioned earlier or weekly or monthly just make sure that you are contributing and ensure that you live a minimalistic life to be able to afford the luxuries like comfort because what was most important is you being able to afford comfort i hope that after watching this video you would go ahead and use a retirement calculator Find out how much you need to retire, start saving, sign up to um, a pension scheme and start saving immediately, consistently towards retirement. Because I want to live comfortably and I really want as much people as possible to live comfortably during retirement. And the sooner you start, the better for you. And like our bar would say, save money make money save you so i will catch you in the next video make sure to like comment share subscribe do you have any questions don't forget to ask them in the comment box and if you want me to keep making videos like this please do make sure that you leave a comment below and i would know that these are useful videos for you and i would make sure to make more videos that are informative like this thank you so much for watching the video catch you in the next video bye